This video is sponsored by Skillshare. In the last episode of You Finish My Artwork, Jendai Arts took home first place with this awesome edit. And in the true spirit of the community, Jendai gifted his prize to fourth place Kevin. So here's a quick recap on how this works. I will start a piece of artwork, I'll then stop at a certain point and hand it over to you to finish. And you can use whatever stock assets you like. As always, I'll provide a link to the PSD template in the description, as well as a high quality JPEG for those of you who don't use or have Photoshop. And I've once again teamed up with the awesome people over at Hueyon to award the best entry and inspiroy Dial 2 tablet. All you need to do to enter is submit your artwork via Instagram by the 30th of September and use the hashtag YouFinishMyArtwork and also follow Phase Runner and Huey on Canada. I will then share the best entries and pick a winner in the coming weeks. Right, so for this episode of You Finish My Artwork, I thought we would take it to outer space since that's something we haven't really explored yet. I also plan on keeping this one a bit more open so you guys can really let loose. I'll just introduce a few simple elements. Just make sure all the stock assets used in the template are included in your final artwork in some way. But aside from those, you can add as many different stock assets as you like. So far, we've got a nice starry background with some atmospheric light along with a simple rock shape. And lastly, we'll include a character for you to work with. Nice and simple. You might want to build up some of the features yourself, maybe a backpack or some boots. Okay, I think we'll leave this one here. As I said, this is a pretty open one, lots of different directions you could go. As always, I'm now going to have a quick crack at it myself. For mine, I'm thinking about creating the remnants of a broken kingdom floating in space, inspired by the ivory tower destroyed by the nothing in the never-ending story. So, I hope you enjoy, let's see how we get on. Let's take a break to hear from the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. I'm often looking for ways to enhance or learn new skills that will help me on my creative journey. Having access to a creative learning space such as Skillshare, where you can learn what you need, when you need, is invaluable. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who is looking to discover a new skill, level up or refine an existing skill set. Motion graphics and titles have played a big part in my YouTube videos, so I joined the class The Retro Chrome Look in Adobe After Effects by pro motion designer Jake Bartlett. One of the awesome things about joining a class on Skillshare is the course interaction. If you have any questions, you can enter the discussions tab and interact with Jake or other members who have taken the same course. Skillshare launches new premium classes each week that are ad-free with subtitles in multiple languages. It's a game changer for those like me who love to learn, explore and discover new skills. And so, the first 1,000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Link is in the description description. Thank you. 
And here's what we end up with. Definitely a tough one, lots of different moving parts, so getting a composition I was somewhat happy with wasn't the easiest. I hope this gives you some ideas of your own, and I look forward to seeing your awesome creations. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and don't forget to download the PSD file and the stock photos. And if you want more Photoshop content, be sure to check these videos out.